Thank you for taking the time to view the short demonstration of the new user interface for ResNet's REO portal. Our aim today is to show you the REO portal's new look with an emphasis on the changes that affect your day-to-day -day use of the system. We're sure that the new look and streamlined navigation will enhance your experience with our product. When you've logged in, instead of working off of a main menu, you'll be defaulted here to the dashboard. You'll no longer need a main menu because the dashboard now houses all necessary navigation. Your default view here on the dashboard is a graphical representation of the specific user items with easy links to get to your tasks, properties, and offers. The lower section of the dashboard is similar to ResNet's inventory stats feature that breaks down your assets by status. From anywhere in the REO portal, click here on the dashboard button to return to this page. On the top of the dashboard is access to the property search, the task queue, the offer management system, the approval queue, the reports menu, and the expenses section. Also, for those that have access, the admin section is in the top right hand corner here. For quick searches, see each queue here. All properties, tasks, and offers are broken down by the status. Now instead of going through the main menu and do a queue and then having to search there, you can just click here and go. For example, at the top of the screen, looking for a property. When you click on a status here, listed for example, it'll bring up a list of properties all in that status, as you can see here. One of the main feature enhancements for REO 2.0 is the property search display. Previously, running a property search rendered results that the user would scroll through using the next and previous buttons, viewing only one property at a time. Now, when you search for properties, a property list is displayed. This property list display has basic property information. From here, I can continue to filter the properties at the top using dropdowns, by Asset Manager, for example, and click the search button. Please see that right below our search buttons are our advanced filter and export CSV. Before I select a property to drill down into, I'd like to point out the data points available to view at this point. You can see the property ID, current status, property type, and the last time it was updated and by whom. Now when I come down the list and click on the desired property, it brings up the property level summary tab. A few things I'd like you to notice. The photo is now placed in the header, and the add new property and edit this property button is here, provided you have the authority to do so. And in the top right corner, we've got the back to results, previous property, and next property buttons. Now coming down to the tabs, I'd like to go over a few physical changes that have occurred in the system. The pre-marketing and tasking tabs. Pre-marketing. One of those main changes you'll see throughout ResNet are the update property buttons are now located on each section instead of at the top and bottom of each page. Please note that the property preservation and appraisal sections have also been moved down to here. The next change we'll discuss is the Tasks tab. The most obvious change you'll see here is the easy to read task status colors. Assigned is in blue, late is in red, done is in green, and canceled is in orange. And up above, you may filter by specific task status and task type here. Going back to the dashboard, I want to quickly recap what we've seen. Here on the dashboard is where we will be defaulted when we log in, and you will no longer use the main menu. You'll find you have your properties, your tasks, and offers all broken down by status, and then below are our detailed status breakdown with click and go searches. And then here, across the top of the page, is your quick reference area for your property search, task queue, offer management system, approval queue, reports, expenses, 
And lastly, in the top right hand corner is your admin section. This concludes the ARIO 2.0 demonstration. Again, we appreciate you taking the time to join us. Please note that additional training is available. Please contact your account specialist or training at res.net for scheduling information.